This Marquee Dragon video is sponsored by Shattered Crystal, game codes and items. Hello Marquee Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and this is part seven of our virtual property theft series. And it's also on the road, except for this edition. You know, a guy's gotta go back home sometime. So, this uh, whole series is inspired by Nicholas Patterson of Deakin University in Australia. And uh, he is working on virtual property theft is what he's studying and he's a PhD candidate. And uh, so he sent me all these questions which turned out to be really good. And uh, so here I am to answer another one. Let's see here. Do you feel as an individual you should handle your own security in an online virtual world or the developer should handle it? Well, you know, Nicholas, you give me an either or question, but I'm not going to answer it that way because the answer is really both. And the, uh, so on the uh, player side, it is your responsibility to be smart. Now, I know not everybody can handle that, but it is your responsibility. And what that means is that you need to not do dumb things like use the same password that you have uh, in your forums of, uh, you know, whatever site you're talking on as the password that you use for your game where you're talking about that game. Uh, you need to mix things up a bit. Let me, let me give you um, uh, some, some assistance here. For those of you who have a lot of different game accounts and really find it to be a pain in the ass to have a different password for each one of them, I do have a uh, moderate solution for you. Now, this solution, it does involve some work on your part because, the, um, uh, because there are applications out there that can help you with this but um, not all applications, the applications don't work with the games. But when I give the example of like the forums and like, you know, if we talk about your banking software or if we talk about, you know, anything else that you may log into online, a program that I really like is called RoboForm. And RoboForm, it costs a few bucks. I think it's, um, it's somewhere between 20 and $30. And uh, RoboForm is a password managing tool that works across multiple browsers, it works across multiple computers, and it can work across multiple devices. Like it can work on your Android phone, your iPhone, your web browser, whether it be, you know, Chrome, Safari, uh, you know, Internet Explorer, uh, Firefox, all of those. And uh, it is something that I find very valuable because myself, I try a lot of these games. Now, I put my game accounts in there because it's very easy for me to look up. And then I use one master password to access everything. And it's very complex, this, my master password, but it allows me to, you know, use all these other passwords and have them be complex and unique and not have to worry about remembering them. And uh, it does occasionally bite me whenever I'm uh, out someplace and I don't have my own computer with me and somebody says, oh, just log into your Facebook and post blah, blah, blah or whatever. And I'm like, jeez, I don't know my Facebook password. And I don't know it because this tool manages it for me. Now, that, in fact, I'll put a link to the description, uh, in the description to RoboForm if you find that of interest. Um, the... Uh, the other part of this is, is that really, you know, uh, it's ultimately anything that happens on your computer is your responsibility. The game company has zero control over what you do with your computer. If you're, if you're surfing porn sites and stuff, you're very likely to get infected uh, with a virus that, that can, you know, take you down. Um, the... You know, we talked a little bit, uh, or, or we will talk a little bit in a future episode uh, about how, um, how there are viruses that are targeted specifically at, the, um, at particular games. And um, so, you know, you can't be stupid, and the game publishers are going to look at it as they can't fix stupid. So don't be stupid, and uh, you're going to have a lot less problems. Now, on the publisher side, 
Yes, it is their responsibility also. And as a publisher, you need to make sure that your environment is secure. You need to make sure that, uh, you know, your web pages and stuff, that if you're using, if you're using software that is not custom, that is, uh, you know, something like, you know, you're using, uh, you know, whatever forum software, that, um, that you make sure that the passwords there are different from what's in game. And the reason for that is, is because forums get hacked. And, you know, the only way to avoid this is to do 100% custom software, and, um, and that's very expensive. Now, that doesn't necessarily fix the entire problem either, because if um, somebody is skilled enough and determined enough, they will be able to get into your, uh, your, your database and get the information out. Uh, it happened once on Marky Dragon many years ago to where uh, our forums got hacked and uh, it was from an exploit that was yet undiscovered by our, um, by the company that, that provided us our forums. And uh, they got in and they got every username and password. And now, I, the only reason I'm telling you this now is because we took the proper action at that time uh, when that happened, and we reset every single person's password. And then we, I mean, of course, we closed the hole, we reset every single person's password, and we emailed everyone, letting them know that their password had been reset and they needed to file for a lost password the next time they come to the forums. We also let them know that if they were stupid enough to use the same login and password when they, uh, when in their games, that they needed to consider changing those as well. And I didn't hear of any account hackings as a result of that because we caught this right away. It was within, it was within a couple of hours of them downloading uh, the our database. And uh, yeah, they got into they got into the back end of the site and they actually downloaded the database, which is where they would be able to harvest all of the logins and passwords out of. Now the passwords are all encrypted on the database, and so it would have taken them time to break that encryption. So we may have caught it soon enough. But, um, you know, as game developers, uh, yes, most definitely your responsibility, and this, and this goes in different areas. So this is not only like account security, but this should be security in any transactions that may be happening. Um, and let me give you a great example. Look at the secondary market on World of Warcraft. Now, if Blizzard were to, to put in some sort of, now I'm not saying Blizzard's wrong on their stance here, but you know, Blizzard doesn't allow the trading of any virtual goods. And because of that, this external market is there, and this external market says um, that they're gonna do it anyway, um, and there's a lot of fraud. Now, with there being so much fraud in this, it would be possibly of benefit to Blizzard if they were to work on supporting that market. And if they were to support that market, then they would uh, greatly reduce fraud they have an opportunity to earn more money because they could charge everyone for a secure transaction. I myself would pay 25 or 30% for a secure transaction, no problem. And they also get the benefit of reduced customer support problems because of these, ex these things that happen in the external markets. Um, you know, it's not a fix for everything, but I, I think that that is something that should be looked at. The, the free-to-play games, a lot of them have, the, have it licked because they have figured out ways to keep external markets from forming. They have dual currencies, and uh, what that means is, is that one type of currency can be traded, the other cannot, uh, except for very few cases like um, Runes of Magic. Uh, the diamonds currency in there, Shattered Crystal, actually has unlocked diamonds and the diamonds in there can be transferred immediately from your account to another account if you buy them through us. Now, we special arranged that because we are, uh, you know, so hardcore on letting people into our club called Shattered Crystal, and 
Uh, so we trust our customers. And uh, because of that, we're able to take greater risks on the other end. Now, uh, you know, so game publishers, there's all kinds of things uh, that they should be doing. And yes, game publishers are very responsible for this, but they're responsible only for their end. When they get out to the customer's computer, they're responsible for making the client piece, you know, the piece that runs on your computer to, you know, you, like your WoW client. They're responsible for that piece, but um, the environment that your computer is in needs to be secure because they can't, they can't help that. They can only make their program as secure as possible and they can protect all their back end, but, um, but they can't fix stupid. So, hope that answers your question. I'm Marky Dragon, take care.